Hey everyone and welcome back to Roadside Coder. So today we're gonna learn React Helmet in one single video. So you might be wondering, what is this React Helmet all about? Well, React Helmet library helps our React.js app to become SEO friendly. They can help us set dynamic meta tags such as title, description, keywords, etc. in our application so that our website is better discoverable by search engines. What are meta tags you ask? Well, according to wordstream.com, meta tags are snippets of text that describe a page's content. Meta tags don't appear on the page itself, but only in the page's source code. Meta tags are essentially little content descriptors that help tell search engines what a page is about. So we are going to make our movie app that we made a few weeks ago SEO friendly by using React Helmet. And don't worry if you haven't made that project yet, you will still be able to follow this tutorial. So let's get started. Okay, so I've opened our movie app project here in VS Code and we're gonna start this project first. So I'm gonna type npm start. Here we go, our movie app has started successfully. Now you notice over here, there's this generic React app text in the title and in the description as well. Let me show you. If you go to inspect and inside of our head tag where all the meta tags reside. So over here, you can see the description website created using create react app and the generic title, which is react app. So let's take care of this. Also, let's discuss the strategy, what we're going to follow first. So what we need to do is this app has four pages, trending movies, TV series and search. So we need to uh, define independent title for each of the page for movies, TV series, and if we open any one of these cards, it should change the title of the page again. And this should be the description of that page. So let's take care of that. So let's Google React Helmet. React Helmet. So here's the NPM repository for React Helmet. So let's follow the documentation. For installing, we have to type NPM I React Helmet. So let's go back to VS Code. And we're going to open another tab and I'm going to paste npm i react helmet. And react helmet has installed successfully. So let's go to app.js and I'm going to import this. I'm going to go right below our header and I'm going to type helmet. So as you can see over here, auto import from react helmet. So I'm going to press enter and you can see it has auto imported helmet from react helmet. Now inside of these two braces, we can define our meta tags. So I'm going to define a title tag and title tag will be named entertainment hub, which is the name of our app. Let's check if it works or not. Let's go back and here you go. You can see entertainment hub has updated successfully. Over here, you can see entertainment hub, but you can see our description is still the same. Let me just update the description as well. So for the description meta tag, I'm going to type meta and it's going to be a self closing tag with name and content. So name will be description and content will be get info for all your favorite movies and TV series. So let's save this and let's check. So here we go. Here, right here is a description meta tag and it has get info for all your favorite movies and TV series. Here's the description and here's the title. All right, so let's do this for all of the pages. So this is the trending page. And as you can see in all of the pages, we have the same meta tags, the same entertainment hub. So I'm gonna go back to our app and here you can see I have defined all of the routes so for trending, movies, series, and search. So I'm gonna go into the movies. Inside the movie as well, just right below over here. I'm gonna define helmet. Let's see if it has auto imported or not. Yes, it has. And let's define title. So I'm gonna give it the title explore movies. Also, one thing that I forgot to do is I forgot to give it a keyword meta tag. So keyword meta tag is really crucial for our apps. 
because it tells Google what are the keywords that are related to our website. So I'm going to do name equals keywords and then content equals movies, TV series and search movies. I guess that's appropriate. Let's go back. And refresh it up, which I don't think we needed to refresh it, but let's check. Here we go. We have the keywords right here. Great. Now we were working on the movies, but here you can see it has already uh, updated explore movies, but we forgot to give the description to it. So let's go back to movies and I'm going to give it this description. Explore new movies with genres. So here we go right here. Explore new movies. Now watch when we change the page, you can see this gets updated. So for this page, it's get info for your favorite movies and series. And for movies, it has this also for our title as well. It's updating dynamically. So let's go back to our documentation. <laughs> so why is that happening? Why is this page overriding this page? So what's happening over here is that we have defined this helmet component in. So what's happening over here is that we have defined this helmet tag in our parent component that is app.js, but in the child component in the movies component, we have defined helmet tag again. So whenever there's going to be a child tag in our child component, it's going to overlap the parent component. So in the documentation, we can see here we go. Nested or latter components will override duplicate changes. So over here, it has defined it in the parent component, but in the child component as well, it has defined it. So this is going to overlap the parent helmet tag. Great. Let's move forward and define all of these tags for all of the other pages as well. So I'm going to go inside of series page. And just like previously, I'm going to paste it right here and let's type explore TV series. We have explore new TV series which genres. So helmet is not defined, obviously. So let's define it. Let's click it and it's defined right here. Let's do the same for our search page. Let's go to search page. And I'm going to paste it right over here. So again, it's going to complain. So let's import helmet from react helmet. And I've given it the title search movies and TV series. And for the description, search for movies and TV series. Let's go back and check for our TV series, explore TV series and for search, search movies and TV series. Let's check our description as well. So search for movies and TV series. Let's go back to the TV series. Here we go. Explore new TV series with genres. There we go. We have successfully completed the base task that we needed to do. Our app is now SEO friendly, but for each and every card, for example, if I open this justice league card, it should display this title into the title tag that is right here. It should display the title of the movie in or TV series in this title tag and this description in this description meta tag. So let's take care of this. So in our app, the place where this model is coming from, this model right here is coming from is called content model component. So inside of our components, I'm going to go to content model. And let's go right over here. So what's happening over here is that we're receiving a few of the data, for example, this title and this description. So we're going to dynamically update. For example, if we click on some other card, it should dynamically update this description and this title to that particular model. So inside of our content model, I'm going to create the helmet component right here because we have access to the content right here. So let's go inside of this. Let's create helmet. Now I would like to mention something that this content model right here is inside of these cards. That is it. It goes much further down the deeper level of components. So it's going to overlap all of the other helmet tags. So again, this is also going to be a nested one. So it's going to overlap all of its parents. So let's auto import helmet just like that. And I'm going to give it title tag over here and another tag for description and content. So inside of the title, 
what I'm going to write is content dot title. So in our app, we have title coming in two ways in either content dot title or content dot name. So I'm going to put this or right here. So content dot title and content dot name right over here. We're setting the title over at this part. So I'm going to set content dot title or content dot name. And for the description, I'm going to put content dot overview. You can, you're going to get all of these variables even better if you go on and make this movie app, then you're going to be able to understand the app better, but you don't need to make it to understand the helmet. So what's going on over here that I'm fetching the data from the API and I'm assigning this dynamically. Let's go back. And let's open, let's say this one. And here you can see Raya and the last dragon. Just notice over here, let me go back. It again changed. If I open this Justice League, yep, you can see. And for the description, there we go. The same description is being copied right over there. Here you see. Now let's go back to any other page, movies page. Let's click over here. Boom. Let's go to search page as well. Let's search Avengers. I'm going to go over here. There we go. We're successfully done with this part. All right, cool. Now what's next is what I want to do is I want to define a style. For example, as you can see in our head tag right here, there are these style tags. So we can also define these style tags in our app as well. And what I want to do is I want to define this theme. Uh, currently this theme is dark theme. I want to, for example, if I implement, if I want to implement light theme, I can give styles inside of this style tag. So let's see how we can do that. So I'm going to go back to our app.js. And I'm going to define another tag over here called style, but it's not going to work just like that. If you want to, for example, write uh, any style over here, you cannot type the class name and start typing over here. What we need to do is we need to open a curly brace. First of all, in the style tag, we need to give the type. So type text slash CSS. And inside of this curly braces, we're going to give back tick. So now inside of this back tick, we are supposed to write our styles. So let's see what styles we are supposed to change over here. So inside app.css, we have this background color style. So I'm going to change this style. So let's go over here and dot app background color. And I'm going to give it, let's say white. So triple F. Let's save this up and let's check. Here we go. Successfully, our background has turned into white. Let's change our header as well. And these cards as well, because they don't look much pretty now. Now that the background is white, I'm going to close this. Or let's check first if it's inside of our inspect or not. Here we go. Style. And there we go. Our styles that we set dynamically are right here. So let's set more styles. So for our header, let's go to a component and header. So inside of the header styles, we have this background color style right here. So I'm going to change this header. So background color. Is going to be white. And let's say color is going to be black. Let's check. There we go. We are successful. Now let's style these cards. And let's check once again. Yep, our styles are adding up. For our card, let's find here it is single content. Inside of this, we have this, this media class right here. So inside of this, we need to change this background color and the hover class as well. So that media. So that media. I'm going to give this style. Now let's check. Much prettier. Much, much prettier than before. Now what I would suggest you to do, if you are looking forward to implementing this feature for light and dark mode, what I suggest you to do is you create a switch right over here 
for so if a user clicks on that switch it turns it switches between the dark and light mode just like i have implemented in one of my previous tutorials called world hunt just like this so if you want to create this project there's going to be link in the description or click on the i button so i guess that's all for the style demonstration now let's take this one step further and when we go over in this these component as you can see there are genres over here we can select genres so movies are going to display according to the selected genre so let's say if i select any of the genre it should display it right over here it should sell it should display in the title tag that these are the genres selected so let's go back to our app so we have a component called genres here it is and let's create that over here so first of all i'm going to check if there's any selected genre or not so selected genres if there's any selected genre then what i'm going to do or oh, let's say if the selected genre dot length so if it's more than zero genres then what it's going to do it's going to display the helmet tag so helmet let me want to import it by pressing ctr by pressing ctrl space and press enter so it has auto imported so inside of this i'm going to have a title tag so let's write over here genre whoops genre and what i'm going to write over here that uh, we have all of the selected genres inside of this part so we're going to map on all of that so let's type just like this and inside of the back text i'm going to give it selected genres dot map i'm going to loop through it so genre an arrow function genre dot name let's save this up and let's check so i'm going to go over here and select any genre there we go genre crime selected let's select any other so this is not really something that is going to help us in the seo but it's a good thing to demonstrate the dynamic uh, meta tags that we are setting right over here so you can skip this part if you want but yeah it's good thing to learn how you can set the dynamic meta tags so that's all for this video guys i hope you understood what react helmet is all about i would love to hear what you guys think in the comment section also if you like this video just give it a huge fat thumbs up and subscribe to the channel with bell notifications on it motivates me to create more such videos also if you like to create this movie app just click on the link in the description or in the i button above and i'll see you in the next video goodbye